From what I know, it's been a rough few years for A-list actor Johnny Depp. Let me start by saying he was probably my first Hollywood crush ever and I still think he's amazing. But around 2017, it was reported that although Johnny made around 650 million from his long running film career alone, almost all of his fortune was gone. It's a long and confusing web of stories which I won't get into, but there were a ton of lawsuits too. Johnny was suing his business manager and company for negligence, fraud and more and he claimed he didn't know where a lot of his cash was going. It also had to do with his family blowing millions of his dollars, especially his sister Christy, and who could forget the crazy legal battle with his ex-wife Amber Heard. It was just so much drama in such a short amount of time. We also know that Mr. Depp has enjoyed a lavish lifestyle between his insane monthly expenses and more than 14 homes he owned, even an entire French village. John Christopher Depp II, who we all know as Johnny Depp, is 56 at the time of this recording, and he's an actor, producer, and musician. He's not on social media, but I'm not surprised because Johnny never seemed like the type to me. Johnny is known as one of the world's biggest film stars, and he's been nominated for 10 Golden Globes, winning one for Best Actor in Sweeney Todd as well as three Academy Award nominations. Forbes estimates that with Johnny losing a lot of his fortune as we know, his net worth sits at around 200 million now, but that's up for debate. So you guys requested a house tour on Johnny and he definitely has had a pretty crazy real estate portfolio. We know the actor owned properties all over the world at one point, but these days he sold a handful of them. Hey guys, it's Kara and today we're doing another house tour here on Famous Entertainment. Since Johnny Depp has owned too many homes to count over the years, this video is going to be a little different. I'm not totally sure which of Johnny's places he still owns and which exact home he's living in present day, but we're going to list the real estate we know about. And it's over the top to say the least. If you like these videos, make sure you're subscribed and ring that bell to be notified when we post so you can always be up to date. We've also done house tours on the likes of Lady Gaga and Will Smith, and we'll have links to those at the end of this. Be sure to follow me on Instagram because I love connecting with you guys. I've also been reading all your comments and I'm going to be responding to some at the end of this. I need you to let me know who to do next in the comments down below and whose home you'd like to see. Now let's get into this video. So like I mentioned, it's no secret that Johnny has had a habit of spending his millions pretty freely. To get an idea, during some of his 2017 court battles about his funds, he was accused of digging himself into a financial hole with two mil in monthly expenses. What are you doing? What are you doing? No, what are you doing? The star allegedly spent 30k on wine, 300k on staff, 150k on security for him and his fam, and 200k on a private jet every month. And these bills don't even include the homes he bought. You all right? Um, no. One of Johnny's previous living quarters we know about is his yacht. Unfortunately, it was costing him too much to keep, and he actually sold it to JK Rowling, but she didn't own it for long either. Apparently, Johnny spent 18 mil on this yacht that was named Amphitrite after his ex-wife Amber. But I more recently found that Johnny owns another yacht named Vajo La Roja, which is a name he created combining the names of himself, his ex-partner Vanessa, and their two children. Except you can actually rent out and charter this yacht if you'd like for only 130k a week in peak season. Johnny's yacht was designed to reflect his personal style and looks pretty royal and vintage. He wanted the yacht to also resemble the classic gentleman yachts of the 1930s. There are five main cabins on this yacht, the master stateroom, VIP cabin, double cabin, twin cabin, and a bunk cabin. It can sleep up to 10 guests and 8 crew members. So if Johnny didn't actually sell this yacht, maybe he's making the money back from renting it out to others. Yeah, I want you to have it. We know that in 2017, Johnny was also trying to sell his horse farm in Kentucky at auction, but at the time it wasn't sold. Johnny is a Kentucky native and bought this house in 1995, sold it and bought it back in 2005. Although Johnny's mother Betty Sue passed in 2016, she lived there for some years before. So it makes sense that Johnny wanted to sell the place after her passing since he wasn't even living there. Johnny's Kentucky horse farm was situated on 41 acres and had a 6,000 square foot brick house, guest house and three barns on the property. It looked like a picture perfect classic farmhouse but still had a lot of space and modern add-ons. There was even a pool out back. The Kentucky home had 6 beds and 6.5 baths, which was likely more than enough space for his mom to live. Although Johnny's Kentucky farm may be a little modest, don't be fooled. 
The star used a handful of his cash to buy an entire chain of islands in the Bahamas back in 2004. Back then it was apparently only 3.6 million to purchase, but I'm guessing he spent more to build on the islands too. The land Johnny bought was called Little Hall's Pond K, and the island is 45 acres with 6 beaches. Naturally, Johnny named the beaches Paradise, Lily Rose, Jack, Brando, and Gonzo. Johnny said about his little slice of paradise. I don't think I've ever seen any place so pure and beautiful. You can feel your pulse rate drop about 20 beats. It's instant freedom. There's even a scuba diving spot in the area that Johnny called Heath's Place after the late actor and friend Heath Ledger. Although Johnny loved his Bahamas land, I believe it's been up for sale since he's been liquidating his assets. Next up on Johnny's real estate list is his French village. Yes, he bought a whole damn village. Back in 2001, Johnny got this 37 acre spread, but we don't know how much he spent on it. We do know that more recently, he had been trying to sell it for about 63 million US dollars. This personal village is in Plan de la Tour, France, about 10 miles from the yacht harbor at Saint Tropez, where I'm gonna guess Johnny used to park his yacht. The property is a village because it has more than a dozen buildings that measure over 10,000 square feet combined. There are a total of 15 beds and 14 baths across the structures as well. Johnny's main house in this French village is 4,300 square feet and had 5 beds and 3.5 baths and there are 6 guest cottages. There's a guest house that used to be a church at one time and the confessional was converted into a closet. There's also a gypsy style wagon that acts as a guest suite with a bathroom and kitchen. It's all very charming and looks exactly like it was designed in Johnny's tastes. Oh, thank you very much. Also on this property, there's two swimming pools, an art studio, and a private restaurant Johnny named Café Marcheline. Not to mention a wine cave, which I'm sure came in handy for the 30k Johnny spent drinking wine every month. Now let's look at Johnny's LA homes. Over 10 years back, the star bought not one, but five penthouse apartments in downtown LA's luxurious Eastern Columbia building for around 10 mil. Instead of making one giant house of nine beds and 14 baths, Johnny preferred to keep the suites separate and lived in them like rooms in a home. You can see from the listing that the design in Johnny's LA penthouses were all very artsy and colorful with a ton of personality. Apparently, Johnny also put these on the market a few years back and sold the last of these five apartments in 2017. Finally, also in LA, Johnny owns five houses in the Hollywood Hills. I would assume he still lives there as he hasn't sold them, but I also heard that he rents out some of the homes from time to time to friends. Johnny even considered building a tunnel between the Hollywood homes, but he never got around to that as far as we know. The main mansion that Johnny owns in his Hollywood Hills out of the five is a 1930s mansion which resembles a gothic castle. I wish there were more pics of the place and how he designed it inside because it sounds like somewhere I would love to live. Johnny's mansion is 7,430 square feet and has 8 bedrooms and 10 baths, including a master suite with a fireplace. Outside there's a pool and a hot tub and sits on 4 acres of land. The castle had an interesting history and was actually owned by the 1930s Dracula star Bela Lugosi. This is very old wine. I hope you will like it. I'm not sure what the other four houses look like, but apparently all of his Hollywood Hills real estate is worth over 19 million. Like I said, this house tour would be more of a list because Mr. Depp had way too many properties to keep up with. It seems like the star had to put a lot of his real estate on the market because of his financial issues, but I think if Johnny still owns five neighboring mansions in the Hollywood Hills, he's not doing all that bad. Aside from the homes we just saw, Johnny also owned another villa in an upscale Paris suburb, but I'm not sure if he still does considering he put his other French village property up for sale. Like I said, I'm not entirely sure where Johnny is living these days, but we know he still owns his mansion in LA. During a tell-all interview with Rolling Stone back in 2018, it was also reported that Johnny was living in a 10,000 square foot mansion he rented out in the Highgate neighborhood of London, so I'm not sure how long he lived there. If you guys know, be sure to tell me in the comments. After seeing all of Johnny's eccentric properties including his French village, a private island, multiple penthouses and more, which was your fave? I definitely love his main estate in the Hollywood Hills. Even though I haven't seen the inside, it had me at gothic style castle. Okay guys, now I'll be reading out some comments from previous videos. On our recent Jeffree Star house tour of his new mansion for 2020, Candy Apple said, This was a great video. The presenter is not over the top like so many other similar videos. The editing is amazing and has very good pace. Nicely done. 
Thank you. It's nice to read the positive comments and I'm glad you liked the vid. Luna Girl also commented on the same Jeffrey vid saying, My favorite part is that he is moving in his mom. She's been ill the last year and also his longtime assistant and dear friend Madison is moving in and has an entire wing of this palace to herself. I love the brother-sister connection they've had as Jeffrey is an only child, and back in the day he referenced how as a young child he always longed for siblings. Thanks Luna, I didn't know this. I love when you guys post stuff that I forgot. Totally sweet how Jeffrey is doing that too. And Liz Q requested a house tour for Jay-Z and Beyonce, and we'll definitely have that one ASAP. Alright guys, that's all I could find on Johnny Depp's real estate. Even though it was more of a list than a house tour, you can see how Johnny put his personal style into pretty much every property he owned. His French village was charming and vintage, kind of like his yacht, and you can tell he also likes art deco and gothic style as well from his LA properties. What do you guys think of Johnny's homes? Where do you guys imagine he's living now? Be sure to let me know in the comments or if I missed anything. And tell me some other celebrity houses you'd like to see. Follow me on Instagram if you want to chat more, and I'll see you guys next time with some more videos. Bye!